What I want you to do is I want you to look at this as a channel. So I want you to take the golf ball. You're going to have it sort of in the middle of your stance here. Even though you might be open to the, you might have it in the middle of your stance. And then from right on the heel of the foot going out is another line. I need to get this club to get somewhere into this channel. If the club gets up here, I'm going to hit a shot that's going to have a lot more spin. And if it gets back here, it's not going to have a lot of spin. But if I can get in this channel, the ball's going to get out and it's going to be good. When I get this club to get in back here, that's when I'm going to get into some trouble. So what I want you to do in order for us to be able to get this club into the channel, you have to be able to practice it. And the way you're going to teach yourself how to do this is you're just going to let this club hinge up just the way Seve talked about. Want to hinge this up so that the grip of the club or the, the grip end of the club is pointing to the toe line. So we're gonna go up like this, and then I just want you to just spank that into the sand. I'm not gonna do it here because we're in the studio, obviously, but what I wanna do is I wanna be able to just thump that sand in there. When you do this, you can just put these alignment sticks in the ground. When you take them out, you can see there's a nice line right there. When you go to go practice, and this is the other reason why you struggle, you're not practicing a lot, but when you go to go practice, just draw these lines. It's about a six to eight inch channel that you have to get the club into. And all you're gonna do, I'm gonna slide that out out right there. All you're going to do is you're just going to get this club to go right into that channel and make sure that you're hinging the club up in the air. The way you're going to hinge it is you're going to feel your thumbs just point up to this, to this trail shoulder. So when you go back, we're just going to try to point it to the trail shoulder. That's going to set the angle. It's also not going to have the arms float a lot here. And then boom, you're going to just strike it in there. And you'll see where this club leaves an indentation. It has to be somewhere between this channel right here and this channel, this line back here. When you get this club, into this gap, that's when you're going to start to get this ball coming out. And as you get more precise with that, you might even get a little bit more spin. <laughs>